Okay. All you need is rest. Aren't you going to give me any injections or drugs? No, you don't need any of those. I've always thought it's compulsory to give injections or at least some drugs to every patient that comes to complain of any illness. Jane, you're not healed. You're just stressed. And it's not a must to swallow drugs or take injection each time you come to a hospital. There are times all we give is advice on how to live right. I'll give you some vitamins too. Thank you. Hello? I'm almost true. I'll call you when I'm coming. Bye. Yeah. Who is that? My boyfriend is expecting me. I thought you broke up with him. Yes, we made up. You made up with him already? After all you told me did to you? He came to apologize and I forgave him. Jane, what is wrong with you? You were here two days ago complaining bitterly on how he doesn't respect your decision and how he almost raped you. And you've made up with him already in less than two days. He has promised to change for good. And I've warned him not to hurt me again. So. Hmm. Why do men behave like animals like this? They claim to love you at the slightest provocation they hit you. Uh, what happened between both of you this time? He doesn't trust me at all. He doesn't want to see me around any guy. And he derives so much pleasure from hating me. This is not the first time. I'm tired of the relationship. Then quit now! Why are you still in a relationship you're tired of? Why? I've made a decision several times, but I'm not bold enough to tell him. It's funny for us to get married. Married? Do you want to be unhappy for the rest of your life? No. Then if you are not sure of it, don't do it. Because if he derives pleasure from hitting you while you are cutting, have you thought of what he's going to do to you when you're married to him? Yes. He's everything bad. He's arrogant. He beats me. He's a drunk. <laughs> and because he has money, because he's locked around him. Yes. To make matters worse. He's a then what are you still doing with him? What? See, I just don't know how to call it with him. Each time I try, I found myself forgiving him, even when I know he will do it again. I'm so confused. Mm. Let me tell you, quitting a wrong relationship like this is as simple as A, B, C. Listen, A is to activate your self-esteem. Mm? B, be bold. C, call it quits. Because if you allow him to lure you into marriage, you will live in hell for the rest of your life. Hell? Yes. Hell. Alright, sir. Yeah, I'll sign it. Okay. Bye. Um, Jay, you should be careful with that guy. I'm not saying it's wrong for you to forgive him. But there are ways of doing things. Don't let one guy take you for a stupid dumb girl. Yes, sister me. I'll be careful. Bye, Nasty. Bye bye, Jay. The way girls of nowadays love is so foolish. Can you believe Jane has forgiven her boyfriend she spoke badly about a few days ago? You can't be serious. I think it's another case of a good girl loving the wrong guy. I'm just scared this guy is taking her for a fool. Why, why do women enjoy pain? Why do we always find it very difficult to make the right decision? Why? We know the truth and yet we struggle to live with lies. That's the irony of life. If you love someone, you keep hoping it will change for good, even when you know it may not happen. Hmm. You better talk to your sister. Okay. She might get her life messed up. Talk to her. Um, I'll try. I'll try the best. Under no circumstance should any guy hit you. And if you make the mistake of allowing him hit you once without a strong approach, it will happen again. He will be angry if I call it quits with him. And he behaves so wild when he's angry. That is the more reason you should make up your mind once and for all. Because if he's as bad as you say he is, then you should trust me just can to take him out of your life. Except all you are telling me about him are lies. They're all true. It's just that I'm so scared of him. <laughs> you don't have to be scared. Oh, he has seen how weak you are and he's trying to take advantage of it. Eh? He doesn't love you. He doesn't deserve you at all. 
I know. I just don't know how to call it quits with him. I already told you how to do that now. Activate your self-esteem. Be bold and call it quits. Look right into his eyes and tell him your mind. Promise me you will do it. I'll try. Mm -mm, don't try. You will do it. Say I can. Yes, I can. My name is Prince Alfred. I'm here to see my fiance Susan. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You can't see her right now because she's not visiting ours yet. I must see her right away. So, if you don't mind, please show me a word. Sir, please, you have to come back by 4 p.m. today. And besides, we just gave her our drugs and she doesn't need any disturbance. Please. Are you people deaf for something? I just told you she's my fiance. <laughs> I'm not asking you if I can see her or not. I'm telling you. So, show me a word. I must stay right away. Excuse me. Please, I'll take the water right here, sir. If there is anyone deaf in here, that will be you. Because you have just been told you can't see her. So come back later. Do you know who you are talking to? I don't know and I don't care to know. I don't. Tell me where she is. Oh, I'll have to start checking the words one after the other. You can't do that. Because it's not visiting hours, so go and come back. You'll be making a big mistake if you let your hand touch me. Or you will try to stop me again. What will you do? What will you do? I can't breathe. Stop me. 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 It's rubbish. I will show you our room, but I won't allow you to wake her up if she's asleep. Nurse Abigail, mm -hmm. stay out of the way. Come with me, sir. Arrest. Don't tell me what to do! Alfred. My princess, how are you? Prince Alfred, you can't be allowed to keep her awake for too long. She needs to rest. Will you just shut up? And get out of here! Get out! Nurse, no, no, please leave us alone. I'm sorry about what happened, Susan. Well, you know you got me angry. Tell me, how are you feeling now? <sighs> There's something very important I want to tell you, Alfred. I... Ah, shh. I know you love me. You don't have to always say it. Baby, I love you too. But don't worry, we'll get married soon. And everything will be just fine. Clinic matters. Keep watching. Unless that idiot don't pass away living today, I must abuse him today. I don't care even if it's Bill Gates son. No, don't create his sin. It's not as if I'm pleased with his attitude either, but you know, this is an hospital. It's just people who create room for an ad book. I won't allow anybody with lack of hundred to talk to me anyhow and get away with it. Ah, uh -uh, what rubbish. He's just too full of himself. I just hope Susan breaks up with him as planned. Just leave him. Children of my abuse, what do you expect? Susan. I'm sorry for what happened. But this won't happen again. You always say that, and yet you don't keep it. 
well. I have a better way of making sure it doesn't happen again. By quitting the relationship. What? Yes. I'm quitting the relationship, Alfred. I'm tired of forgiving you. I've forgiven you so much I don't have any forgiveness left or even myself. I know you're still angry with no, me. No, I'm not angry anymore. As you can see, I'm calm. I just don't love you no more. Susan, you know when it is just around the corner. So we should not let anything come between us. I can't marry you, Alfred. You've beaten your love out of my system. I'm not interested anymore. And this time it's for real. Stop sounding stupid! I would understand if you say you're still angry. And you need some time to get over it. But don't tell me that you're calling it quits. You can't force me to marry you, Alfred. I'm tired of pretending. It is over. Susan! You know what I'm capable of when I'm angry? Don't get me angry. You couldn't be my wife. <laughs> you will not scare me to pretend to love you again. I've outgrown that. Shut up! What has come over you? We are getting married and nothing can change us. You are my dead body. I'll fight I won't marry you for all the money in the world. I'm not interested anymore. It would be foolish to tie a new town knot with a man like you. Hey, hey, I don't know. Hey, people are saying that for some reason I didn't hear it. Hey, I'm looking at things. You are a nightmare. I want to wake up from. Yes, you. I want you totally out of my life. Are you crazy? Are you are you out of your mind? You can't quit. We are getting married. No, we are going our separate ways. I'm just having a conversation with my fiance. So you people should leave us alone. No way. She's done with this relationship, so let her go. Chop! She's gonna be my wife. Come here, baby. Well, sorry, this stick you are hold, eh? Not be only floor with the take her up. Oh. I go use some breakfast in your head. I go break your head now, no, no. Then go I'll be with you for this our hospital. Come to us, huh? Please get out. Ah, ah, what? Ah, four years out. Susan, I know you're gonna change your mind sooner or later. When you do, let me know. Please. Oh, please, please. Flush out. Out. Flush out. out. Do you know who you are talking to? Uh -huh. 
Oh, I'm so sorry, so I can't see her because it's not the same hour yet. I must see her already. Right? So if you don't mind, so how are you not? Actually, how are you not? I'm happy for the rest of your life. No. Then if you are not sure about it, then don't do it. Have you thought of what is going to give you the right solution for me? Go. If you are not sure about it, then don't do it. If he He will be angry if I call him and he behaves so wild when he's angry. I think he should be better than him. Yes, I understand. Why would he be angry? Sophie, are you all? Asho! I'm done now. They're all true. It's just that I'm so scared of him. Don't be scared though. Hey! He has he lost has... your week. He has lost your week at us. I know. Not that sad. Oh, Jesus. Where are you? Actually, we go from where? Sorry. You, Susan. I'm so scared of him. Don't be scared. Don't. Kill Susan. Action. Don't be scared. What? You shouldn't be like that. Go to kill. Action. They're all true. It's just that I'm so scared. Of him. You don't have to be scared. Of him. I think he has seen how weak you are and he's trying to take advantage of it. That is the more reason you should call this quit and make up your mind. Eh? Because if he says... Mm, mm, that is the more reason you should make up your mind. Because if he's as bad as you say it... Simmons! Abigail, take one! Action!